How's it going? I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method, and here is a badass blues riff that'll help you become the blues guitarist you want to be in just two minutes a day. Check it out. Now let's break this rhythm down piece by piece. So this is based on a 12 bar blues shuffle rhythm in the key of A, all right? And it's pretty much an alternative to the typical cowboy blues kind of thing, you know? So instead of doing this, you know, you can do this. So let's start from the top. So as I said, this is a 12 bar blues, so we're gonna have a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord in this progression for the rip. So we're gonna start with outlining the one chord. So we start with, our first finger on the fifth fret of the low E string. Then what we're gonna do is what's called a pull off. We're going to gently rotate our finger enough to pull the string and then release it. So you pull the string as if you're spring loading it to kind of bounce back into position. It's not an exaggerated pull, don't go like this. You wanna just, just slightly pull it. That's why it's called a pull off. So you start with just picking the fifth fret on the low E string, and then we pull off and release, but then we come back and play the fifth fret again. So we're going, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Like this whole riff kind of, that sort of bouncy pull off thing, that's what this whole riff does. We're just gonna move that same idea to the seventh fret of the D string, which is the octave of this note A. So we're going, So we do the same thing. So with our third finger, we play the uh, seventh fret of the D string, do the pull off thing, and then we play uh, the fifth fret, or sorry, the seventh fret again, right? So seventh fret, pull off to open, seven again. All right, then we're doing the same exact thing with our first finger on the fifth fret of the D string. The pick, pull off to open and pick, right? All right? And then we're gonna do the same thing on the seventh fret of the A string. All right, so you noticing the pattern here? So sometimes with a 12 bar blues, you know, in a shuffle rhythm, you would play it like this. You know, which is kind of static. You know, when you add the pull off thing, it just makes it bouncy and just really rhythmic and dynamic. And you can just repeat that. And in fact, you do for uh, the duration of the one chord in the 12 bar blues. All right, then when we move to the four chord, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna be outlining uh, starting on D, so which is the four chord of A, uh, the fifth fret on the A string with our first finger, and the same thing. We pick, pull off to open, pick again, Right, and then same thing. We find the octave, which is the seventh fret of the G, uh, G string. And we do the um, uh, pick, pull to open and pick again. Same thing on the fifth fret. And then the seventh fret on the D string. So. All right, so for the first part, we're doing the, um, on the one chord four times. One two, three, four. Then we move on to the four chord, we do that twice. One, two, back to the one chord. One, two. Then now we're gonna reach the five chord, right? Which starts here on the seventh fret of the A string. So we shift from our third finger here to our first finger, right? We do the pick, pull off, pick, right? And then we find the octave here, which is the ninth fret of the G string. We do the same thing. And then same thing on the seventh fret with our first finger. And then back to the ninth fret on the D string with our third finger. All right, we just do that once. One. And then we come back to the four chord and we do that once. 
and then we're gonna do the one chord, back to the one chord just once. Then we have the turnaround part, which, which is gonna be the same thing, right? The pick, pull off, pick thing. We're gonna pick the fifth fret on the A string, all right? And then we're gonna do with our second finger, the sixth fret, same thing. Right, and then finally, we're gonna land on the seventh fret on the A string and play that twice. And that signals our turnaround and we can totally start this whole thing over if we wanted to. So you're getting the idea, right? It's, we're, we're outlining the one, the four, and the five chord just by using this cool bouncy pull off riff, right? And then we have the turnaround to signal when everything starts over. Now I'm gonna play this riff to a metronome to show you where all of these notes land when playing to a beat. So I've got my metronome app here and I have it set to 75 beats per minute. So I want you to try running through this with me. We're gonna go through the whole 12 bars of the riff to 75 beats per minute. All right, now if that ends up being a little bit too fast for you at this current moment in time, pull the BPM back to maybe 65 or 60 or even 55 just to get yourself you know, comfortable with the pattern and the flow of it and then gradually increase the speed. 75 beats per minute is probably not the ultimate speed. It's more of a moderate tempo, I'd say. But go ahead and try it with me. We're going to start right now. Two, here we go. And... and we do the one chord four times. It's four. Moving on to the next one. One. Two. Back to the one chord, one, two, now the five chord, one, down to the four, one, back to the one chord, one, here comes the turnaround, so when you practice this riff for just two minutes a day, you're going to build strength in your hands, dexterity, synchronization, speed. I mean, your pull-offs are gonna be money, right? Because the whole thing is pull-offs. And there's a whole lot of room for adding dynamics with your picking hand. So one thing I like to do is when I'm playing through it, right? Let's say, you know, starting on the one chord, I'll kind of play it wide open, right? Then when I move on to the four chord, I'll palm mute, break it down a little bit, and then open up again. You know, just have fun with it, right? Try out different, uh, you know, uh, uh, strengths in your pick attack. You know, you can pick it hard and, like I said, wide open, or you can palm mute it and pick it softly. There's a whole lot of room for that. And every day you practice this, you're going to get better, faster, more confident with it. There's going to be all kinds of room for you to put your own uh, flair and your own emotion into it. And dig this. If you're jamming with another guitar player or with a band that has another guitar player and you want to do a shuffle blues jam, you know, you can assign the other guitar player to cowboy riff duty. And you can totally throw this in there and just complete the mix with this badass riff. So not only is this riff perfect for your practice regimen, it's also perfect to bust out at a jam. And speaking of practice regimen, just two minutes a day to practice this riff doesn't seem like a whole lot of work to get all these great results, am I right? That's because we know a thing or two about getting maximum results with the minimum amount of time and effort required. If you like what you hear, got something for you. A free practice session cheat sheet. This has helped thousands of guitar players get maximum results from their practice sessions. So click here to grab your copy or check the link in the description box. If you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell notification. And also check out some of our other kick-ass lessons right here. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.